Hi, and welcome to your Project Zabwide Apocalypse series, day 134. So, our objective is just to get all the vehicles inside the warehouses. So we did get all the uh, standard vehicles inside the one warehouse. We did get everyone in there. And eventually we'd have to go through them, get our mechanics uh, toolbox. So we're thinking like we we, uh, we do want to get a second uh, toolbox. So we get like a uh, toolbox in the uh, one shed and toolbox in the other one. And then it just has all the mechanics things like the uh, lug wrench, the jack, the wrench, the screwdriver maybe. And then we can just go there and do things with the vehicles. And maybe see if we can uh, find the mechanics book or something. So, what we're going to do is just uh, go to sleep here. Because our character is tired. Because we're up all day sorting the vehicles. <clears throat> and then today, we're just going to be like sorting all the trucks in the van. Although, we went inside there. And I'm not sure how that's going to work. Because there was a staircase. So, we got to store the vehicles like differently in that one. Alright, but our weight's 78 and it's going up. And we also did look at look at the uh, the uh, vegetables again. So apparently, it's a good thing that all the radishes die. Because the radishes, they just give a uh, one calorie, that's it. And the uh, carrots, the carrots are the best things that we have. Like, the, the broccoli is the worst thing. The broccoli just has 11 calories. The tomatoes have 14 calories. But the carrots have 25 calories. And the uh, potatoes we're growing will have like 70 calories. But the uh, cabbages, those have 178, I think. Something like that. So the cabbages are like the ultimate vegetable to uh, grow. It's like the uh, radishes are the worst thing to do. Then it's like broccoli is the next worst thing. And then uh, tomatoes is after that or something. Or at least the ones that we grew. I know that there's other vegetables and everything. Strawberries didn't actually look that good for, uh, for uh, gaining weight for some reason. Like, I thought that uh, strawberries would have been good because it had sugar in it. But I guess uh, stra eating strawberries all day doesn't help bring your weight up either. We're just going to sit here and eat all this broccoli. There were two full to eat, so that's perfect. We're not even going to bother cooking it because I'm not, I'm not sure what uh, cook cooking the food does. I'm not sure what cooking the food actually does. I know it, it increases the uh, amount of hunger, hunger that he heals, but the hunger it doesn't it doesn't matter at all. Every everything's in the uh, your weight. It's like you're you're gonna be eating more more hunger than you're ever ever gonna need anyways. So we have those. We throw the eggs back in the freezer. There's gonna have a uh, broccoli and tomatoes. We're gonna eat the broccoli and tomatoes because it's the worst one. So we just fill this uh, fridge full of these uh, tomatoes here get rid of these tomatoes the eventually we'd have to go through and get rid of all the broccoli and everything but it's just going to be like a broccoli diet or like a tomato diet and then eventually move on to the carrots and then eventually move on to uh, cabbages when they're done so we're just going to sit here and keep eating as much as we can just so that in the morning we eat these we're not even making salads or anything because i mean salads just breaks it up it's like you have a piece of broccoli and then it uses most of it, and then it just leaves like 20% of it left, which just feels like too hunger, that's it. And same with these things, just leaves little bits of tomato, leaves little bits of carrots. I don't even I don't even know what the point of cooking is. It's better to just eat these straight. Oh, it's frozen, so I guess it's good not to eat it when it's frozen. So I guess we had a whole bunch of food here. I guess we could uh, come back and pick these up. I guess if we get hungry again, we can just come back to the fridge and then just eat it. So we got a water, we got a gas can. We're gonna try not to run, it's just to conserve our food. The water bottle's not full, is it? Oh, we have a full water bottle. All right, so there's a weight 78, it's actually going up, but we we did eat a cereal. Oh, and it's raining out here too, so that means that the rain barrel is going to fill up and the uh, plants are all going to get water over there. So we're going to try to work right over to the uh, trucks. So I have all that cars over here. Be good to turn this generator off. We don't need to do anything until we're going to work on the vehicles later.
they just leave that there they just have to go to the back or turn on the generator i wonder if the generator reaches this light or not because i know we just put it up here just because i know the light switch is right there but if we move the generator if it doesn't reach that light switch Do we have it with the generator mix? It just has to reach this back door. See, put it here. Maybe, maybe it'll reach both of them. Don't take it. Connect it. There you go, we got lights in the front of the place. Yeah, we got lights inside the place. So that's what we're trying to do. So this place is, it's, uh, I, I think you could drive through these. I think you could drive through those things. Do you have the vehicles here? I guess we park them all along here. I guess the exit's right there too. There's like the exit here instead of up there. So the layout's a little bit different. Oh, and I guess we can park vehicles along here. Oh, except for the stairs there. So I guess we'll start lining them up along here, then up along there, maybe. I wonder if I have to destroy, destroy those support beams or something. Or just destroy the stairs. We have to get a sledgehammer then. So like there's no reason to have this thing here. We could sort vehicles here instead. Oh, so I think we'll go get the sledgehammer just in case we need it. So we did that. We moved the generator so that the uh, the front the front's lit up. Oh, it's raining again. So there might be a sledgehammer over here. Cause all this here is just these uh, stairs. It's dark up here, unless there's a light switch. Where's that light switch down there? There's nothing up here. It's dark. I mean, maybe maybe we can store something. There. I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe we could use a sheet rope and nails, actually. 
Then we have a sheet rope there. I have to think about that. Do we destroy the stairs so we can fit vehicles in here? Should we just start putting vehicles right here? Oh no. <clears throat> yeah, I guess it makes sense. It's dark up here. If we uh, disassemble this thing, the. Uh, I guess if we had a propane torch, maybe. Maybe we should have should have brought a propane torch with us. Oh, now we're gonna have to go get the propane torch and everything. Let's go try that out. So it's just it's just like going back and forth between these places here. So we keep thinking of things and then forgetting things and then learning new things and uh, trying new ideas and eventually we'll get figured out. Sir, sure, weights are not going up anymore. So let's just go eat eat a lot of that broccoli that just gives 11, 11 calories, I think. And let's see if we start bringing our weight back out. So I guess we're getting a couple things better. We're going here to eat food. Oh, the main thing was the uh, propane torch. Oh, okay, right here somewhere. I guess to take that one. So we'll just go here, maybe just try to eat a bunch of broccoli. Get a bunch of the broccoli out of the way. Broccoli and tomatoes. If we just go like this, would this queue it up, or is it that not gonna work? Yeah, it's not gonna work, so it's just like the first one. Why is there all these uh two pieces of block block right here? Did we have a bunch of two pieces of the fridge or something? In the, in the freezer? Cause those ones are so bad, they just heal two, that's it. So you can't be a bunch of broccoli here. Oh, we're too full to eat. Right, so we ate, ate all the broccoli and didn't do anything to our weight, right? Broccoli is terrible. Especially when it's just like a little little tiny piece of broccoli left. So I guess we ate some food. Once we get through all the broccoli and then all the tomatoes and then move on to the carrots, it'll be a lot better. So we're just going to fill the water bottle. So we ate a bunch of food. We got the propane torch. We got the propane tank. So we can see if we can like, uh, dismantle anything out there, maybe. Or if we get like uh, nail, nails with a sheet rope, I think. Nails and a sheet rope. Maybe, maybe we could uh, make make a rope up to there. I think we need clothes. So we're, there's no zombies around here for some reason. For some reason, we haven't seen a single zombie. So we'd have to go to the uh, clothes thing and see if we have some extra clothes that we want to rip up. We rip up the uh, craft uh, sheet rope for the crop top, and maybe there's like socks or something. Maybe for these pads. They got a couple of sheet ropes. Okay, how do we do that? Is it like carpentry? Maybe you're supposed to go to a ledge because we just need like a sheet rope and then we just need uh, nails. Oh, we didn't open it. Open the box of nails, maybe. And then I think that's what we need. So I wonder if we should go here to eat this uh, cereal. Eat the rest of that cereal there. Oh, we ate half of it. If we eat the rest of it. There are way to start going up. It, just until we get the cabbages. I mean, what, once we get the cabbages, I think uh, I think we won't have to worry about it anymore. 
We'll just be able to save all of our perishable food that won't matter because it'll just be just be a life of eating cabbages at that point. We shouldn't have gas to be here. I think it was just about empty. Add escape rope. I think that's it. Add escape rope. It's not. It's not doing anything. Oh, there we go. So we did it. I think. So did we need like two sheet ropes to nail or something? It, it, it didn't show us what it required. So I guess we guess we had it. I guess it was two sheet ropes and then some uh, a nail, maybe. Then we just go climb up there. And then we can remove these stairs here, I think. So it looks like we can disassemble it or anything. So it looks like we're just gonna destroy it then. So let's destroy these stairs. You don't want it. You want it to put uh, trucks and vans in here instead. So here we go, so now the stairs are gone. Then we can climb the sheet rope. Then we got uh, this thing, this for something. Are we gonna be able to destroy these things? I guess those are there forever then. So I guess it's there, there's, what, there's where the stairs were. Then we can just uh, climb down here. Then we can uh, disassemble this barrel here. We'll disassemble this barrel. Take up the litter. Ah, oh, then we can go start parking vehicles here. So we figured it out. I wonder if we should destroy this room. Or just keep that as a room to store things in. So let's disassemble this garbage can. It's gonna get out of the way. I guess that's it. I mean, we have like uh, all all of these things to move. This is like directly in front of the, in front of the way of the door. <coughs> so we guess like move all these then. Yeah, these are almost filled up already. So we're gonna have to remove these ones to get access to those ones. So I guess we're get, we're gonna be uh, picking up a bunch of things. We're gonna be uh, picking up these crates here, so we can uh, put things in the back ones, and then line them up against the wall here. I think that would be something to do then. 
So I guess we're not ready to move, but yeah, we still have to go organize everything. Because we have to get rid of these crates at some point. These aren't even a heavy place to store store all these things. It's too heavy too heavy to pick this up. There we go. So now we, now we can start storing things in this box here. They should be able to just pick up these crates here. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll just uh, place a beater. They'll just uh, stack up the crates we just picked up against the wall here. There you go, that's good. So like, uh, got all that organized. And then we can get rid of these things, so now we have to go uh, organize all these things. So it's empty your ba em or bag. We'll just put these in the uh, top crate here. Let's just go and empty it all of these that we didn't empty yet. Looks like we actually went through and emptied, emptied all of them, except for this one. So I guess we can start picking up crates then.
She doesn't have items in the container, so I guess we got to uh, take the items out. Oh, they have got to go uh, get rid of these crates here. So just throw them here for now. I thought we emptied this one. Oh no, I guess we did it. They're actually just about done here. I just have all these uh, crates picked up and moved. It didn't, it didn't even take that long.
There we go. We got every single crate moved out. So I think we're just going to remove that wall there. And then this place will be pretty much opened up. And then we could go move the vehicles in here tomorrow, I guess. I guess we're not going to be able to do it today. We're not going to have time today. Oh, see if we get the sledgehammer. Or do we have it here? Where did the sledgehammer go? Is it over in the other place? Because we dropped it off, maybe? She put the uh, propane tank and gas caddy here. So let's be at the other place then. So we're going to need a sledgehammer to destroy this wall here. And these doors. And this door. Now open up that place, then we can just drive vehicles here, not to swerve around the wall or anything, we can just uh, park them here. That'd be another huge open space for all the vans and the trucks and everything, so that's a lot, not a lot of space for them. So let's go here eat a bunch of food. Because the character's hungry. He's hungry at the moment. <laughs> I think we to try to get some weight. They go through all these uh, tomatoes and everything that we have here. Oh, is he full already? There's no way you're full already. You're just too full to eat. You can't even eat anymore. You just started eating. Oh, here we go. There's like one piece of broccoli here. We drink this uh, red wine actually because like five ten calories. So let's drink this uh, red wine. We'll just drink all of it. it has like five hundred and ten calories in it. That should maybe start bringing our weight up too. Before we go to sleep. So yeah, that worked. Now our weight's going back up. All we had to do was just uh, just drink the red wine that was in here. We were too full to eat, so we had some uh, good good red wine with a bunch of calories. What's this drug? Fornacious slightly impaired. Oh, we, ne we never drink alcohol this game. So the character's drunk or something. So we filled the water bottle. We ate food. We ate as much as food as we can. He's not hungry anymore. We need to just find the uh, sledgehammer right here. Is it not here? So we should find a sledgehammer in here, maybe. So you know we have we have more than one sledgehammer. There's two right here. So if I found oh, we found the sledgehammer, we just need to go. Break down some walls, then we can move in, move in the vehicles tomorrow. So there we go, our character's very tired, so we're gonna go to sleep here. 
So we didn't actually get to start moving the vehicles inside there yet. We still had to remove a bunch of things and like uh, destroy the staircase. We had to destroy all those few things in there. We had to move all those crates. And now we have to uh, destroy the wall. Then maybe uh, there's going to be a broken glass. We might have to pick up the broken glass too. But then that should be already tomorrow to start uh, moving vehicles in again.